What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Deontay from Life at the Lockup, back once again to do another cast diary. Let's get to it, shall we? We gather here today in the presence of friends and family to celebrate the love that Nicole and Tia have for each other. On this week's episode, Nicole and Tia are getting married. If anyone can show just cause why Nicole and Tia may not be lawfully joined together, speak now or forever hold your peace. I'm uh, on my way to this wedding. Now, in the back of my mind, I really don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know whether I'm here to watch, whether I'm here to crash and create chaos, or whether I'm just here to get some type of closure. As I'm getting closer to this wedding, you know, I see all her family and stuff there. And as much as I would love to go and cause trouble, at the end of the day, I'm just not that type of dude. What am I doing here? I didn't feel it was appropriate to go and just make my presence felt right then and there, so I'm just kind of watching from the outskirts. By the power invested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now pronounce you married. What? You now kiss your wife. You gotta kiss me like you miss me. Here I am sitting here watching this woman that I was in love with <laughs> in a wedding dress giving herself to somebody that I have no respect for whatsoever. It's, it's hard to look at, but sometimes you gotta learn stuff the hard way. I present to you the happy couple. Woo! I'm happy. Let's get the out of here. <laughs> After the ceremony is over, you know, I go to try to congratulate the two of them, even though I'm not happy that this even went down. At the end of the day, I kind of felt like, well, she did it. It's over with. Time to move on, but I'm here. Hey, man, let your presence be known. What's up, man? <laughs> Bad idea. Mother I don't know why you're here, but you need to leave. Here comes this little mother and behind a tree. Just got out of hand. Yeah. For some odd reason, this girl just takes it upon herself to attack. Now, my mama didn't raise me like that. I don't hit female. I would never raise my hand at a female. I'm a man. Hey, let's go, man. What the I have no regrets. Sometimes you need certain things to get you to where you need to be at. I needed to go through that. So I have no regrets, because I got exactly what I need. Take your stupid ass life to get the out of my life. All I want you to know, Deontay, is that you're a piece of You know what I think about you, Nicole? I think you're a narcissistic bitch, and you got everything you deserve. And I'm happy as that I ruined your wedding. I mean, I don't know why Deontay can't get over me. It's like, it was the same thing with his ex. He just clings to prison girls, and it's not healthy. Now, I have once before said I would never in my life date another enemy ever, <laughs> ever again. And I stayed firm and, and stuck to my word that I was not going to go looking for no enemy. And I didn't. But, uh, <laughs> that don't mean, uh, people can't figure out ways to contact you. What's up, girl? Thank you all so much for watching. Catch up on the entire season of Life After Lockup on WeTV.com or the WeTV app.